Graham here with Okanagan Adrenaline. Got another side-by-side -side, uh, machine here to show you. It's a 2015 Kubota RTV 500. Now, this machine is fairly small in the scope of the side-by-side -side units, but quite capable, quite useful with its small size to be able to get in and out and around uh, the barns and into the sheds and things like that. Yeah, this particular model, as it says, 2015, has 750 hours approximately on it. Uh, we just mounted a snow blade to the front of it with a 3,000 pound uh, winch activated with the control inside the cab here. Got a post here just to change the angle. It's got a front receiver mount. It's got, as we say, brand new winch. Tires are in uh, awesome condition. A little bit of a blemish on the front fender here. Seat is in good shape other than uh, the tear on the driver's side front left corner here. Otherwise, everything's in pretty good shape. <coughs> it's got space for two cup holders, obviously a number of pairs of gloves. We have for activation here, we have a neutral, a high, a low range forward, and then a reverse. We also have a rear differential lock. We also have a four wheel drive, two wheel drive, all activated from the driver's seat. As you can see, the hours there, they are 765. <coughs> have our winch control right here. Pedals are simple, brake and forward and release. Now this is a hydrostatic model, which means that uh, when you take your foot off the brake, or sorry, off the gas, it automatically comes to a stop. So that's a really handy feature. It'll even hold you on a slope as well without using the e-brake, although highly recommend it. It's got a rollover protection uh, factory uh, on the top, and it's got a small bed in the back. Uh, not large. Uh, capacity on the bed, I believe, is 500 pounds. It's got a rear tow hitch as well, and it's got a flat level towing capacity of 1,000 pounds. As we said, it's got a hydrostatic transmission, which you can see in the back, so we don't have a belt to worry about, nor do we have gears, per se, to worry about. The tread on the back tires is also very good. We've been plowing this area here, actually, just on the level in two-wheel drive, just for fun, to see how it works. We have a dump bed here, which we won't dump because of the dog in the back, but uh, you can see the uh, engine from the still pictures we have included. It has a horn, has <coughs> lights, and uh, activate the battery, or access the battery and the fuel levels under the seat, which isn't the most uh, well-designed way, but uh, still quite capable. All your fuse boxes, your radiators on the other side, and your fan and so on. we got fuel gauge is noted right here, so you do have to flip the seat to find out where your fuel is. However, very fuel efficient machines uh, for what they are. Top speed approximately 25 to 28 miles per hour that is governed that way from the factory. Uh, the reason being is in that way it fits under the classification for farm exemption. So you can get your farm taxes, uh, you can get your GST and your PST back if you have a farm license. Uh, if you try to get a Polaris Ranger or a Yamaha Rhino, etc., any of the big boys, then you're not going to be able to write those off as a farm expense due to the uh, to the, the high speed nature of them, clearly designed more for sport than for work. Anyway, check all that with your accountant, of course, don't take my word for that. Anyway, so there it is, 2015 RTV 500. We'll fire it up for you so you can hear it run. That's the fan kicking in, you'll see you've got your activation panel on the front. She fires right up nicely as she should. Got the winch on the front. Range, plowing. Now let's see what she can do. Got kick down springs on it. 